My name is Nestor Petruc, and I professor of Old Testament at the School of Theology in Sagunto Adventist College. And my field of research is ancient history, ancient Near East studies, and ancient languages. When we read the Bible, when we look at the story, we can see, we can perceive how God walked through time. And this is something that I just see in the text and also I can perceive in my life. The Bible works for me in my life and so I can see that the Bible works and it can be trusted. When I study the Bible, when I study ancient texts, and especially when I looked into the archaeological finding, I can see how God works through time. And I can see God through history. And I think this is very interesting because we can see how God worked in the past and also how, how He works today. To work in a secular environment is not always easy. Sometimes different uh, approaches, different ways to understand the same things complicate issues between academics, between, between colleagues. That's why it's important to have respect, to work in a respectful environment. And this is something that happened to me. Sometimes, even though I have colleagues with different perspectives, is they respect me and I respect them. Sometimes, they, they, we got a time where religious issues come over, especially when I looked at the Bible, because I work with the Bible. We work together with the Bible. So sometimes what I believe, they ask me what I believe, and I can share with them what I believe. I think we can trust the Bible. So many people say the Bible is myth, is just theology, is just is in a story, an ancient legend. But when it came to the study of ancient Israel, we can see through archaeological finding that the Bible, the history of ancient Israel, works. And also, we can discover many important things in archaeology that relate to the Bible. Archaeology has much to do with hermeneutics how we understand the finding. When we work in the archaeology of ancient Israel, we can see the liars and we can see how, especially big periods of time, are very clear on the archaeological strata. We can find objects from the time of the Bible. We can find texts corroborate things together with the Bible. And we can see the Bible through archaeology. For sure we can. Like the story of creation in Genesis 1 or 2, in the ancient Near East textual tradition, we got many, many stories about the creation. There are so many similarities between hmm, biblical creation and ancient Near Eastern creation. Of course, the Bible is set in a cultural, textual environment. But 
we always or many times just looked just the similarity and says, okay, biblical traditions are just a copy of Babylonian, Ugaritic, Assyrian, Aramean stories, tradition, creation stories. We have to look also the difference in most of the well-known ancient Near Eastern tradition uh, regarding to creation, they're God fighting each other. And then we got a creation. In Genesis, we got a God who put in order the world. And he, day after day, he created everything by his voice. Similarities and difference many different between the biblical story of the creation and the ancient Near Eastern tradition of creations. The God in the Old Testament sometimes looks or we see as a terrible God. Sometimes this creates fear in the people who read about the God in the Old Testament. But this is because we do not read this God in its own context. We need to read the Old Testament all together. Yeah, there is terrible scenarios in the Old Testament. There is horrible situation. But like terrible situation we got today. The Bible just describes life as it is. But we cannot blame God for all we can see in the world. To see God in its context, we need to see all the Old Testament. Just not just see the, the part where God is just being fearful. We need to see the Psalms. We need to see how God loves his people, Israel, and save them. And then we, we got a real perspective of what is the God of the Old Testament. The New Testament is a continuation of the Old Testament. We cannot understand the New Testament without seeing the Old Testament. The New Testament tells us about Jesus, about the apostle, and about the church. But the New Testament based his theology in the Old Testament. So there is, we cannot see, there is, it's not possible to see a different God from the New Testament to the Old Testament. Jesus, needs to be the same God, the Old Testament. We've been reading the Old Testament many times when God is presented as a terrible God. And we forgot where God is presented as the Good Shepherd, as one who cares for his people. This is the God of the Old Testament and also the God of the New Testament. And we can see it, that there is a continuity between the Old Testament until the New Testament. Mm -hmm. 